Hey y'all, Tim Nash with Skogman Realty here, and I am currently at a house that I'm going to be listing here in a couple weeks. I can't give you the address, so you don't get to find out just yet. You'll just have to wait. So um, I'm at this house, and um, <coughs> the seller wanted me to go through it, do a walkthrough, and uh, talk to her about some things that I think we should do before we get the house on the market, and I thought it would benefit y'all if uh, we did that, so... I will take you through this and we'll talk a little bit about some of the things I think uh, this house needs before we go to list it. So one thing with this house, I actually helped them sell or uh, buy this house. And uh, one thing that we all kind of noticed and they just never did anything about it, but I think we need to do is, so this is the front room that I'm in right now. And um, they have it as a, uh, as a formal dining room space, which is fine, it works through there. Um, I recommended that light needs to come up a little bit. See how far that light's hanging down? So, I mean, I'm gonna walk right into it, right? If I walk through there. So that's one thing that I kind of recommended needs to happen is that light gets either just completely removed, probably completely removed and just put a new light in. Cause this is a really great like front living room space. The other thing, um, if you have dark colors that are dominating a space, dominating a large area, Dark colors are going to make a space feel closed off. And um, the ceilings in this house aren't super high. So, but they've got it painted this, this brown color. And you'll notice, I'm gonna walk back here and you'll see the entire living room is this brown color with these kind of low ceilings. And it goes, it include, that includes the hallway. It's all that brown color. So one thing that I recommend, that I would recommend doing in a situation like this is, um, repainting and I know that's kind of a pain and sometimes it's going to cost a little bit of money or it's going to cost a little bit of time right so if you're going to paint it yourself then it's not going to be too expensive but it's going to cost you a little bit of time to uh, tape everything up and do it right and get everything painted or you can pay somebody to do it um, but again this dark color it makes everything feel kind of closed off and we really want to avoid that. We want things to feel open and we want people to feel like they're in a very open space that they can breathe. That's how I kind of think of it. I was like, I can't, I can't breathe in this, this dark with these dark paints, you know, and it's light and open and airy. It feels much more open. So those are a couple, that was one thing that I first noticed. Now, another thing um, is we're going in here. Right now, I'm in the, the laundry area. They've got main floor laundry in this house. And if you can see right behind me here, we've got these, we've got the laundry space and all we have separating the laundry from the hallway are these uh, lovely curtains right here, right? See these curtains? And it's just like, it's very DIY. And I mean, you know, it's one of those things where if you're living in a house like this and this is something that you've been doing, you, you know, it's been your house for however long and it was never a problem for you, it never bothered you. But if you but you have to take a look at a property through buyer's eyes when you're going to list your home. And so something like these are feel they feel very temporary, they feel very DIY. And also I would venture to say that these are probably open most of the time. And so you've kind of got I mean it's just it's the laundry space, right? So it's not a space that you're like that you really care about decorating that much. You've got this, you've got the plumbing right here. You got a lot of utility stuff. It just doesn't look really pretty. So my recommendation is to install some, some bifold doors like we have over here, just on the opposite side. Just do that on this side. And this shouldn't cost that much at all. Some, uh, again, bifold, buy some, uh, some fairly uh, affordable bifold doors, a little bit of time, install it yourself or hire a handyman to do it, right? So another thing that I always do whenever I'm showing people a house is I look at the ceiling, okay? So I look at the ceilings primarily like, I'm gonna go in the bathroom here. It's not in the bathroom and you can hear the fan going in this bathroom. But I always look at the ceiling to see if there are watermarks on the ceiling. In bathrooms, especially bathrooms that don't have that vent fan, usually that means that people taking hot showers, like you do in a bathroom, taking hot showers and then that water, um, it, uh, the, the, the moisture uh, provide, uh, causes water stains and stuff up above, usually it's above the shower. But sometimes you'll have, um, and I think in this case, I think we're right above the, the second floor bathroom. And so what you'll see is you'll see something like this. See that? 
So at some point in time, there was a leak and it caused that water damage right there. And, uh, and nobody ever like took care of it. So again, that's just something where, um, scrape it off. You see it up there, scrape it out. And I mean, it's, it, this is going to be a little more time because we've got a popcorn ceiling. Now it's a small area, so it shouldn't take you too long, but you need to scrape all this out and then you just retexture it, repaint it, retexture it. So, um, if you're looking at listing your house, look at your ceilings and make sure that, because these kind of these kind of very minor things, you can see something else back there. And again, I think we're above the second floor bathroom. So you can see at some point in time, they had some water leakage. So not only does it not look great, but also when buyers are looking at your house, they are immediately going to assume, rightly or wrongly, I'm not saying buyers are wrong, but they're immediately gonna assume that there's water problems in this house. And water problems in a house it is an immediate turn off for buyers a lot of the time. So, um, so that's another thing. So look at your ceilings. Um, we're gonna walk through this very, this is, this is the best part of the house. A little sneak preview. Look at this, they've got these huge soaring vaulted ceilings. It's such, it is really such a cool house, which is why we wanna fix these. Um, so I wanna fix these things that are just very minute. They aren't, they don't seem like a very big deal. But if you have a fantastic house and you want to get top dollar for this house, like if you know what your house is worth, um, you know what your house is worth, but then there are these little tiny things that are going to make people think that there's something terribly wrong with this house and you will not get top dollar for it. So some minor things, I always look at outlets and vents. Outlets and vents are something that I always pay attention to. Again, it's the, it's a, it is a indication on whether the house is well cared for or not. Okay. So one thing we're looking for, looking at right here, see this guy, see how that outlet is just out outlet. Maybe it works. Maybe you never used it. But again, if you want to get top dollar for your house, you got to fix little stuff like that because that will automatically take your house from an A plus down to a C minus, okay? Um, also just, um, again, I, this is a great room up here. This is the master bedroom up here. Um, and this is the really nice bathroom we got in here. So nothing too bad in here. Again, I always look up at the ceilings. Ceilings all look good in here. So, um, but yeah, when you're going to list your house, it's those tiny little things that aren't going to cost you that much much to fix and in a in the buyer in buyer's eyes it's going to make all the difference so remember that so take care of the little things also on this particular house i'm not going to take you out there because i'm going to finish up this video um well i will take you out there because i can edit already so they haven't lived here for about two years or not two years huh <laughs> like two months right and uh, one thing that's happened is you've had the you got some you got some weeds you got some volunteer trees growing up and that's one thing that is always a really good idea to take care of just have a professional landscaper come in or do it yourself again it's either you spending your time or you're spending your money it just depends on whichever is most valuable to you but um again you want your house to put its best foot forward you need to get rid of a wit rid of a weed like that so so yep again tim nash with scoman realty just uh throwing out some different things that I think would help you if you're thinking about listing your home, things that you might not be looking at, but buyers are looking at when they walk into your house and they are things that will devalue your home in buyer's eyes. And if you want to get top dollar for that house, these are some things you think you should think. Of. <laughs> these are some things that I think you should think about taking care of. All right. Y'all have a great day now.